Guys, we are out in Gainesville, Virginia, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be going through all the pros and cons of living in Haymarket and Gainesville, and definitely subscribe to my channel where I talk about all things Northern Virginia real estate related, and definitely text me at the number below, or shoot me an email if you're thinking about buying a house in the area, but let's get right into the video. So believe it or not, I gotta get into a con as I'm driving through the area. There is always a ton of construction going on. And part of the reason is we're getting a lot of these brand new data centers built out here. When you drive around, maybe if you're new to the area, you'll see a lot of anti-data center signs and some pro data center signs. But believe it or not, there's nothing we can do about it. They are definitely coming. They do bring some jobs and a little bit of controversy. So that can be a con, but there definitely is just a ton of construction going on. But the roads, they have definitely done a better job the last couple years of building them up and getting them where they need to be. The traffic just isn't as bad as like some other parts of Northern Virginia, but the construction can definitely be a con around here. So a pro is on the housing front. There are three great active adult communities here in the Gainesville Haymarket area. If that's something that you're looking for right now, I'm in Heritage Hunt, which is one of my favorite. I've sold a ton of my YouTube viewers houses in here. Then another one is Carter's Mill, which is being built right now. It's brand new. And then last but not least, we have Regency, which is in Dominion Valley. And that's another popular one built by Toll Brothers. So if you're not looking for active adult, I'm gonna show you guys some other housing options, which is a huge pro of the area. But let me keep going through the pros and cons of Haymarket in Gainesville. Now, a con that I'm gonna get into is it is pretty expensive to live around here, which really the cost of living in the DC area in general is super high, but the lowest pricing house around here is probably like a condo in the three to 400,000 range. Now you can get a single family up on Bull Run Mountain, which is kind of like the original part of the Haymarket Gainesville area for like four to 500,000. But when you get into some of these like golf course and gated communities, the homes typically go anywhere from 700,000 to a million or like five to 700,000 for a large townhouse. So the cost of living is pretty expensive around here. We also do have a pretty large um, car tax as well here in the state of Virginia. When my grandfather was the senator here years ago, he got him to reduce it somewhat, but it's still pretty expensive. Like on my vehicle, I pay about like 1500 a year extra on top of that. But you know what, I feel like in other states, it all kind of evens out with other taxes as well, but that can be definitely a con to the area is gonna be the cost of living can be pretty expensive. All right, so let's get into another pro and probably one of the biggest reasons people move here to Gainesville Haymarket is the location. So right now I'm right by Route 66, so you can go west, head towards Front Royal, Fauquier County. The best part is you go east, you head right into Washington, D.C., Ashburn, Arlington, Alexandria, Herndon, wherever you might be working. I will tell you, most of the people that live out here, um, they do not work in this area in Gainesville or Haymarket. They mostly commute or work from home. They just added these brand new hot lanes. Literally this year, they just got finished. And then, so like right now, the times change. The prices change, I mean, on how much the traffic is at the moment but like right now i just looked and it's like four dollars to ride it pretty deep into 66 the location is definitely key we have all these large commuter lots around here you can head down to bristow and jump on the vre train or even into manassas and ride the train right into dc or head on down to the metro by vienna but the location is definitely killer and if you're thinking about buying a house definitely text me or email me but let's keep talking about the pros and cons of gainesville and haymarket so one of the other good pros I like about this area I'm living here are pretty much all the schools are new. So we have two big high schools. One's gonna be Battlefield, and then there's Gainesville High School, which is brand new. And then right down the street, there's also uh, Patriot High School. And then most of the middle schools are new as well, and plenty of new elementary schools. And the schools here are all pretty much highly rated. So that is definitely a huge pro. And most of the neighborhoods have their own elementary school, which I love. So definitely a huge pro if you have kids all right so i'm going to give you guys a pros and a con here pro right behind me is a very huge wegmans which a lot of people who move to the area ask if we have one of those is a real popular grocery store if you haven't heard of it 
but a con is as well there's just limited shopping out here so if you want to get like really good shopping you have to head closer into fairfax we just have your typical stuff like dick sporting good ross old navy all that type of stuff not a lot of like local shops and then most of restaurants as well are like chain style restaurants so that can be a con but the pro is we definitely pretty much have everything where you don't have to like travel as far to a dc or anything like that all right, so let's talk about the biggest pro, my favorite subject, of course, housing. And I'm walking around this neighborhood in Piedmont area. And the thing with like Gainesville Haymarket is you can get pretty much any house you want. You can buy a condo right near the hospital for like 300,000 or a single family on Lake Manassas for two or $3 million or another great property in Dominion Valley for 1.5 million, which is the former site that the Walt Disney Company used to own. But I love some of these townhouse neighborhoods. You can get a huge townhouse that is big as like some single families from for like four to 600,000. And then one of my favorite spots that you should definitely check out when, if you want to text me at the number below, we can always show you as well. But right by the town of Haymarket is a really cool area. You can pretty much walk to everything. Same as like Gateway Center over in Gainesville. So housing, there is just pretty much anything you want from a condo to a townhouse to a huge single family on 10 acre lot. So we have all kinds of housing options. I would love to be your realtor, realtor, realtor. I can't even talk. Realtor of choice if you're thinking about buying a house in the Gainesville and Haymarket area so definitely subscribe to my channel text me at the number below or shoot me an email if you have any questions on anything i talked about in this pros and cons video and please subscribe to my channel i have a goal of getting to 10,000 subscribers and as always i will see you at the top or from the top